Hi everyone, how you doing? This is your boy, Rude Boy, again with another C program game console mode. Well, this type of, I like the game. Basically, the layout of the Pac-Man grid. Now, perhaps you've seen my other videos on how to go about doing like a Pac-Man-esque type of game. Not exactly Pac-Man, but similar. This is console mode, you know, there's only so much we have to work with. And we have to, all the functions we have to draw out. You have to do, you know, there's nothing to help, no function to help about like an SDL or anything like that. Frameworks. Okay, um, this is the first iteration of the Pac Man game I did. Uh, my main goal here was getting the, I call these ghosts. This and this is a ghost, and this is my Pac Man. Oh, I call it a car. And my main interest was getting these to move around this uh, grid fairly randomly and I was able to accomplish that let me show you again if you haven't seen my other videos these ghosts will move around in a fairly random manner throughout this um, grid. you see that it made impact with, it erased the the car well it's still there but <laughs> I didn't it's not completed it's not a complete game I didn't have time to finish up all the collision aspects and stuff like that. Only this one, if this collides with the car, this would end the game. This one here, the bottom goes. Or is it the top goes? Maybe the top goes, the top goes. This one here. So these will move around fairly randomly. That was our main interest. This one stalled. That's because I haven't dealt with that condition yet. So that one stalled. And how this works is once it gets to a grid location it makes a decision whether it wants to go left right up or down and it's based on which direction it's moving so if it's moving down if it's moving down then it has in that blocks code moving down that function moving down it would uh, make a decision there's another function for if it's moving up another code block if it's moving up then it will make certain decisions and that's how you basically have to get these goals to move around in the grid pattern fairly randomly alright now you see how this grid is kind of like it's not very Pac-Man looking it's very blocky these big blocks there's some gaps in there my main focus was to get the ghost moving around so I didn't think about um, getting it looking exactly like Pac-Man but now I did and this is it here what I have here I drew this out the Pac-Man game because I don't have access to these block characters you see this um, on ASCIITABLE.COM there are these block characters that I want to use and once I use this block character this block character fills the entire index so there are no spaces so it looks like one solid line. So I had to use I use this block character. You can use these, but these will have spaces because these are only filling the index halfway. These half left, half right, half bottom, half top. This fills the entire grid index. And I uh, this is the character block here 219 because I don't have access to my Apple keyboard. And once it's executed, this is how it looks. This is more like what Pac Man looks like real nice, solid lines. This is um, this is um, console mode here, guys. So it's not SDL or anything like that. With pure console mode, I have to do everything. There's nothing to help me out. No function built in. This is the function that looks for these, the line. That looks for this character here. And once it sees it, it replaces it with a block. It replaces it with this block here. Uh, and then you get the nice solid line Pac-Man looking type of thing. I'm not going to implement ghosts in this one. My main interest was just getting the grid to look like a Pac-Man type 
grid layout, screen layout. Um, how I did it, the best way to do it is like this. You do it one line at a time. Like this. You do it one line at a time. And when you need a space, you have to skip. A space, skip. You know, something like that. And let's just do it like this. Then you have to 